Peace and blessings, family. Welcome back to another episode of Learn with Shaverne. If you guys caught my past two days episodes, we have been discussing Napoleon Hill's 17 Principles of Personal Achievement, also known as Napoleon Hill's 17 Principles of Personal Success, right? Because we want to be successful, because we are amazing, we are awesome, we are here to complete our uh, human vessel's life mission to give back to humanity in whichever way that is. So, we are going to start off with less with uh, principle number 13, adversity and defeat. Now, I know I mentioned in one of my previous videos how many of us try to do things outside of the scope of ourselves and find ourselves disappointed because the outcome was not what we originally expected or predicted, right? Sometimes adversity and defeat can be a good thing um, because you're meant to learn a lesson from it. Sometimes not getting what you want is the blessing in disguise. Think of it this way. Do you think God would give a baby a loaded gun? No, right? So if you are still in your infant stages of wherever it is that you need to be, the universe is not going to provide you all the tools you need to accomplish it because there may be other things or other areas of your life that may need to be worked on before you get everything that you really want. So if you've cleared those things out of your way and you're still um, running into or experiencing adversity and defeat, maybe there's a lesson there that you have not learned yet. Sometimes we end up doing the same things and I call it hitting the brick wall, right? We do the same things every day, expecting different results. Besides that being the definition of insanity, uh, hitting the brick wall every day is what we do in our everyday mundane life in which we get up every day, we brush our teeth, take a shower, go to work, take the kids to school if you have children, you work all day, you come home, you repeat, do the same thing all over again. And that's you hitting the brick wall. Did you do anything throughout the course of your day that fed your mind, body, and soul? Did you do anything throughout the course of the day to put your penny away, to, put, to make yourself one step closer to your dream, whatever it is that may be, or whatever it is that you want to come to fruition, right? Uh, number 14 is creative vision. I know a lot of us only think that, or we think that imagination is only for children. Being creative is only for those artsy people. Well, sorry to burst your bubble. Being creative is for everybody. No matter if you can only draw stick figures, creativity is not only limited to art, okay? If you're an interior designer, your creativity is not only limited to your vision to how you see spaces, okay? So your creative vision is anything you can create out of the utilization of your imagination. Right When you close your eyes and you see darkness, whatever you create in that space is your creative vision. And number 15 is health. That's a pretty obvious one, right? If, I, if you experience health issues, then you can't focus all of your energy into your wants, right? So maybe being healthy may, wanna, may probably be your first priority if that is something that you have been experiencing challenges in. Um, Maybe you need to observe your diet. And I know a lot of people think that, oh, well, eating healthy means that I have to eat organic or eating healthy means that I have to cut out fast food or eating healthy means I have to be vegan. Eating healthy means none of those things necessarily, right? Eating healthy is being balanced, okay? So if you are vegan and you eat vegan five days a week, and maybe you stay away from oily foods. Eating a oily fried french fries or whatever the case may be um, is not not being healthy. Uh, you can indulge in the things that are outside of what's deemed healthy, right? But overindulging is what creates health issues. So if I'm an individual who, um, let's say for example, I like candy. Okay, maybe I'm an adult who really enjoys sweet things. Well, what comes along with being addicted to sugar? Diabetes, obesity, all type of health issues. I am no health expert. That's outside of my scope, so I'm not even going to pretend to list all the adverse effects. Um, I know in one of my previous videos I mentioned to you guys, I have not been sick in like over two years. Like with the actual cold flu and all of that stuff, and to each their own with this, right? 
I don't believe in the flu vaccine. I don't get it myself and I don't uh, encourage my son to get it, right? Because I don't want to input a foreign entity inside of my body. If I am to catch something like that, then it would be organically and my body will fight it off organically. That's my thought process behind it. And again, I have remained healthy. I have a great relationship with water. Drinking lots of water always helps. Um, I wouldn't say I necessarily eat healthy 24 hours a day, but I do exercise daily. I do my yoga daily. I do pray and meditate daily. Um, these little things that you can do can absolutely affect your external as to how you want to see it. So if you, in your mind, envision your, your physical body looking different than what it currently looks like, you have all the control to change that. But did you implement uh, principle number nine that Napoleon Hill says, which is self-discipline? You can't diet on Monday or implement a diet Monday and then not diet Tuesday and expect results on Wednesday. It doesn't quite work out that way. So if you're somebody who experiences health issues, evaluate your diet. Is your diet the healthiest thing for you? Are you eating out seven days a week? Are you cooking seven days a week? What type of things are you cooking? How often are you cooking with these unhealthy foods? You know, evaluate those things. Um, principle number 16. And I know I mentioned a little bit of this yesterday, right? Time management. Principle number 16 for Napoleon Hill says budgeting time and money. Interesting. If you mismanage your money, you are most likely to mismanage your time and vice versa. If you mismanage your time, you are most likely to mismanage your money. So if you have a strict schedule because you've been self-disciplined in your habits that you have been creating for yourself, then at this point you would say, okay, well, I have everything in place that I need. All my tools are around me that I need to build this, this house that I envision for myself, right? That's how you do it. Um, budgeting your time. A lot of us take time for granted, okay? We waste time doing things. Maybe you don't have to go visit your cousin or your auntie or your grandma. You don't have to visit them this week. Maybe you take this week to reflect on self and to improve self. Maybe you don't have to go visit your, your best friends, auntie's cousin, or whatever the case may be, right? We have a lot of people that we allowed to enter into our lives and that pull away from our energy that we can use to focus it or refocus it or repurpose it for something greater for ourselves. Then at the end of the day, we're like, man, why do I feel so drained? Well, because you didn't spend all day wasting your energy and wasting your time. What did you accomplish today? You know, it is not a bad thing to be alone and self-reflect. And vice versa, it's not a great thing to always remain alone either, right? That sense of balance is very important. So budgeting time and money, making sure you're using it appropriately. And then the last principle, habits, right? This is a pretty obvious one. Everything you, anything that you do daily is a habit. So if I come home every day from work and I turn on the TV and I sit there for 10, 15 minutes to watch a show or whatever, kick off my shoes, then go take a shower, that is my habit. People think of habits and they automatically think of like some external habit like coffee drinking, smoking cigarettes or whatever the case may be. No, habits are anything that you do daily, okay? You may need to take a look at your habits. Do you have healthy daily habits, right? Um, and this goes, this all ties into um, thinking positively, speaking things positively, making sure you keep a a clutter-free area, making sure that you are respecting your first, second, and third self. Make sure that you are speaking highly to yourself and tell yourself you are amazing because you are. And I wish you all a wonderful, productive, positive day. No, remember, no matter what you are going through, your human vessel is merely having an experience. Do not let that experience have you. Peace and blessings, family.